The three greatest swordsmen in the kingdom appeared before the king to settle an argument. Oh, king! Which among us is the greatest? The king ordered one fly to be released in the room. The first swordsman swung his sword, and the fly fell to the ground in two pieces. Another fly was released. The second swordsman swung his sword, and the fly fell to the ground in four pieces. Another fly. The third swordsman swung his sword. And the fly kept on going. You missed, said the king. Respectfully, your honor, it may look like I missed, but that fly will never have children. <laughs> the Japanese emperor ordered his two greatest blacksmiths to make him their finest swords. After months of labor, they returned. The swords were tested for sharpness by dropping paper onto each blade. Then silk. Then finally, a hair. Both swords cut everything equally. Then one of the testers took a sword to a very slow stream and placed it in. A leaf floating in the slow current was cut in half. And the sword maker nodded, smiling. The other sword was then placed in the slow stream. This time, each leaf would slide out of the way just before reaching the sword. That sword maker smiled. See, my sword is so sharp that even leaves are frightened of it. A woman entered a pub and saw a haggard-looking soldier sitting at the bar. She approached him and asked if everything was all right. The soldier said, I haven't had sex since 2014. The woman replied, wow, that's a long time. How about I get your tab, and you come back to my hotel? They went to her hotel room and made passionate love for a solid two hours. Wow, said the soldier. That's the best sex I've had all night. The woman went, wait a minute. You told me you hadn't had sex since 2014. The soldier replied, yes, ma'am. That's true. Now it's 2355.